Center right now. It's around 6.30 and I'm doing a hyperlapse here with my dolly like you can see. It, it's a new dolly and it's actually just the third hyperlapse that I tried to shoot with that. So the last two were not so good that I wanted to publish them and I hope that today it gets much better. And after shooting that hyperlapse here I will go to the Emerald Pool close to Krabi. It's around maybe one and a half hour or two hour drive. I need to go with the ferry again to the mainland. And I'm excited for that because it looks very nice on the pictures. So it will be a nice video. So I arrived at the Emerald Pool, it looks actually pretty touristy here, so I'm happy that I arrived so early, it must be around 9.30 or 10 a.m. now. I was actually having breakfast before and it took me around an hour or a bit more, a bit more than an hour to go here by a motorbike or scooter, so it's, it's not too much, it's still a good way to go and the way is pretty easy to drive, so there's not that much traffic and so on, so pretty good and now I'm lucky that here are not so much tourists, so let's Let's go to the pool. So I'm inside this park now where the Emerald Pool is and they actually took my drone from me. So yeah, I hope I get it back later. They said that I get it back so I was able to put it in the room instead of a locker because it's too big for the locker. So yeah, I really hope I get it back. It feels a bit scary. So that's actually a reason to buy the Mavic Air or a small drone like that because you can hide it in your bag and they would probably don't see it. I don't recommend you to fly then, but at least you don't need to give it to someone else. So I just arrived at the Emerald Pool. It looks incredibly nice here. This crystal clear blue water, I love it. But it looked before like there are not much tourists, but right now, as you see, it's full of them. So to get rid of the crowds, you definitely have to go a bit earlier. This place actually reminds me a bit of the Senots in Mexico. So if you've been in Mexico and you liked it there, then this is for you. place would be perfect for a drone shot but it's forbidden here and yeah like I said they took my drone but I can understand that they don't want that here because I can imagine here are so much tourists and when everyone is flying his drone here then no one really likes that anymore after a while so yeah it's it's reasonable but I don't like that they actually take the drone. The emerald pool was quite green and now I've been to the blue pool, which is blue. My best explanation for that is because all the kids are swimming in the emerald pool and we all know what they're doing there. So I'm back from the emerald pool, it was amazing and I got my drone back. <laughs> Had luck, yeah. So I'm pretty happy now, let's drive back and fly the drone. On the way back there is also the so-called hot waterfall. I'm not sure exactly what that is, I never heard about that before. Just saw it from the street and so I go there now and yeah, we'll see how it is. Yeah, 
it's like the name says, it's uh, kind of a hot spring that ends up in a waterfall. So pretty beautiful here, but a lot of people are here. So yeah, I wouldn't spend too much time there, but here is a more quiet spot, but it's more like a river. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. And those places here are actually on the way from Kolanta to Krabi. So when you go to Krabi for visa extension or something, you can stop here. So the way is not like waste of time or something. You can see something beautiful there. See you in the next video. Oh,